Got leftover ham? Let me tell you what to do with it. You need to make these sandwiches. Everybody raves about them and they're so, so easy. First thing is we're gonna make a wonderful spread. It's just delicious. Okay, we're starting out with one cup of mayo and this is the real stuff, not, not the salad dressing stuff. This is real mayonnaise. Then I've got one stick of butter. Don't worry, this makes a lot of sandwiches, a good eight or more sandwiches. Seems like I always do ham for the holidays and then you're stuck with all this ham, so what do you do with it? This is a great way to use it up. I do a couple tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Just gonna kind of eyeball it. I usually don't measure, that's just one more thing to wash. Half a teaspoon of garlic salt. And that's my spread, just really, really easy. And let me tell you, combined with this ham, and we're gonna do some Swiss cheese, it just makes the best spread. So that butter was softened, and that's gonna allow it to mix together with that mayonnaise and make a great creamy spread. Okay, we're ready to get going on this. So I've got some hard rolls, went to the bakery and got some nice hard rolls. This is also great for entertaining, tailgating. You can make up a whole bunch of these sandwiches ahead and then just bake them off right before your guests get here. Great with a veggie and dip tray or um, a, a nice fruit salad. Makes a great brunch. Fabulous for tailgating. I've been known to make a whole ton of these ahead and then throw them on the grill, heat them up indirect, uh, you know, so that they don't, the, the buns don't get burned. And they're just, they're just great. Like I say, everybody loves them. So I've got one sheet of foil for each sandwich. We're gonna wrap the sandwiches up in the foil. So our buns go down. I'm just gonna make three of them for you right now. And then I'm gonna spread some of this great spread. Kind of schmear, schmear it on both sides. I think that's a New York term. You know, cream cheese, schmear it on those bagels. At my local grocery store, Festival Foods, they do hot ham on Sundays with free rolls. So even if you don't have leftover ham, I'm known to go in there on Sundays and get some great ham that they're slicing up fresh right there. Um, I do about a pound and a half, two pounds of ham. Um, just depends, you know, how big a sandwich that you want. And then I do Swiss cheese, so, you know, nothing like that baked ham and Swiss together. Nice big slice of that. Buns go on top. Wrap it up in your foil. In this case, I'm going to bake these in the oven. Real quick bake. About 15, 20 minutes until the, what happens is that spread melts, the cheese melts, the bun gets all toasty, ham gets nice and warm. About 325, and we'll get back to these guys in about 15 minutes. Okay, it's time. It's gonna be hot. Oh, that cheese gets ooey and gooey and melted. And then the bun gets all toasty. Everybody, and I mean everybody, raves about these hot ham and cheese sandwiches.